Hey, 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 what's up? Welcome to Wise R Us. Again, my name is Fabrice Wise. Today is a day that I choose to do something a little bit uh, out of the ordinary, the story time, story day. Um, I wanted to tell my story when I went to Africa recently. Um, I came in the U.S. back in 2003, in June 2003, and since then, I was just here in the U.S.A., spent my whole life, enjoying good times, went to school and everything, you know. Um, nothing was more amazing than coming here and not speaking English. Um, we did... Okay, we, First, when we came here, we had an opportunity to go straight to school. And uh, me and my little sister went to... Um, this school used to be called Open Campus, but they changed the name. I don't know what, to where, where, why. Uh, but it's somewhere in Atlanta now. No, in Stone Mountain. It used to be in Atlanta, but now it's in Stone Mountain area in Georgia. So... Um, Something cool about it is that uh, we had a chance to go there, learn, graduate, make friends, and everything. Uh, I remember one day I was so stressed out. Um, and I was just like, man, I really miss Africa. I really want to go back to Africa. I, I rem if I remember well, that was like 2005 or four. Uh, we had a story time in my classroom, and uh, I gave them some of my negative story. Um, like something that happened to me in the past, and um, I wanted to... Well, it had a lot to do with um, with my health. Uh, I, had an, I had a surgery, and that surgery was so intense at point... It took me six months to recover. So it was so depressing. I used to work out, lifting weight and everything. But after the surgery, I couldn't even stand up straight. And then I start having this second thought of committing suicide, which was very bad. And, um, you know, somehow I worked my way out of it. Uh, there's a friend who uh opened up to and uh told the guy like hey man i'm suffering to this one you know i want to take my life and i know for sure this is not what i want this is not people uh what people around me want so i just need help you know like i don't want to do it and the guy was nice enough to help me out and talk to me so um then Back to the USA, I told that story in my classroom, and the teacher went and told my, my counselor that I wanted to commit suicide. And the whole thing just went like, you know, everybody got motivated, like, hey, Fabrice, what's going on? What's going on? I was like, man, that's not what's happening. It was just a story time. I was telling the story of my past, how how things went bad, and uh, I recovered from it. But, you know, they took it a little bit step further. They were like, Fabrice, is everything okay with you? Do you want us to, uh, do you have a girlfriend? I was like, no, I don't have a girlfriend. I don't need one. Oh, man, you sure we can find you a girlfriend? I'm like, damn, I don't need a girlfriend. Thank you. Uh, they was like, Fabrice, do you want to go back to your country? Maybe you miss your country? Yo, that was the toughest question because I truly did miss the country. And speaking of a country, I have two countries. I belong to Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda. So, knowing that things wasn't really stable in Congo, I wasn't really thinking of going back there, but most definitely... I was looking forward to going back to Rwanda, and uh, but I just left everything down. I was like, no, I'm cool. I got to finish up with my school and everything before I can go anywhere. So years passed, and uh, 15 years later, I was like, man, you know what? I really have to make this happen, and finally I made it happen. I went to Rwanda 
to me going to rwanda was the best gift i could ever give to myself why because you know life um life over here is mostly busy 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 work of course wherever you go around the world people work and you in order for you to survive you got to work but over here in the USA, it's a little bit more than just work. Over here in the USA, where everybody's always in the move, like on the weekend, I don't even know, not even speaking of the weekend, even weekdays, it's just so hard to even get in touch with anybody. So seeing over there that I understand a lot of people don't have jobs, but still, they're able to survive a lot easier than here so it was so amazing just seeing how everything has changed um i spent 24 25 days and um especially speaking of rwanda i was impressed i remember rwanda of 2003 but seeing rwanda in 2019 basically end 2018 beginning 2019 that was an amazing transformation like no word to describe it um everything have changed from roads to housings people that you knew back then as babies now they're older and um businesses are booming easy to start a business over there i mean the whole thing was just like you know when you go to a spa or massage therapy whatever it is basically your whole mind just like reset and coming back to the usa i was just like man you know what i really want to take another trip because even not only taking another trip, but living in Africa, just man, that's another level. One thing that I found out, one thing that I learned is that Africa have everything, everything. Only the only way to see it, or only way to find what in Africa, you have to focus in positive side of it. Because if you only focus on negative side of it, you will never see the shining side of it. So that was like an amazing uh, time, amazing moment. Uh, I went around Rwanda. I was in Kigali, Kibuye. I passed through Kitarama. I went to Giseni um i don't even know a lot of prefecture no more but i went to a few places and uh you know it was just an amazing experience um food food is amazing amazing food people be eating all fresh stuff i felt jealous right there because our food you know hey, we have food and everything, but that thing be taking long before it get to your plate. And over there, everything seems just fresh. You need it now, they make it for you and poof, it's there. And um, other thing is, uh, yeah, people are so relaxed, laid back, you know. I did enjoy uh, riding on motorcycle. The best side of riding motorcycle is faster you get to pass to through places where cars cannot even pass but the not the bad side but the scary side is getting hit i got hit one time but i did not even complain about it because it was just a, a small touch on my leg and the, the guy who was riding the bike uh, didn't even realize that i got hit i just let it go um but other than that it was an amazing experience and you know i loved it so my take into this is we should be able to tell our own story by ourselves and don't be ashamed of trying use what you have and do what you can to get where you want to be 
and that's the spirit we're gonna grow a better stronger and more powerful africa thank you so much this is fabrice wise don't forget to like this video subscribe and ring the bell for a notification every time i post a new video talk to you later bye